I'm gonna get matcha with one of my friends now and then we're gonna go shopping. I have no idea what we're going shopping for and that's the sound of the elevator. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm running late. I never could tell if I'm running late or not. So I'm back home and I honestly did not film a lot because <laughs> we were really just catching up so much and talking a lot and I can't film that. <laughs> we went to this matcha place that was really good. The only thing is that the matcha had the effect of coffee. Like there was so much caffeine in it. We felt shaken up and anxious. Like I love when me and the person that I'm hanging out with were on the same like vibe. Like she was anxious, I was a little anxious. It's all fine. <laughs> We were understanding each other, but yeah, we were just talking a lot and catching up and when we were sitting in the park We one of her friends walked by and he lived in the area So we went to go see his apartment and that was really nice Like she was just catching up with him for a while and we went into a bunch of stores and I bought a few books that I'll show you in a second and um, We had lunch yeah, I was, I was really bad at filming today. Also, the city was so crowded today because it's fashion week right now and it's so warm. The weather was amazing. I literally haven't been out. I just wore this. I haven't been out in a city in just a cardigan in so long. I usually have to wear a jacket over this, but it was, it was great. Um, we went to McNally Jackson's. This is like the best bookstore in New York. The one in Soho is my favorite. The one near Rockefeller is pretty good too, but I like the one in Soho the best. But the only thing I got there is a uh, Loved and Missed by Susie Blunt. I literally saw this on Goodreads the other day, and I read it and I thought it was interesting, and I was like, I'm gonna get this sometime. I usually see things on Goodreads and then I forget about it for like months, but since I saw it in person, I was like, I'm gonna get it. Oh, this is cool. There's a book club. Maybe I'll stick to my one book club. Anyway, but then I also went to Target because Target was having a buy one, get one half off. And I got, <laughs> I think I filmed this part, but I got Divine Rivals, even though I already read it on Kindle, but I really wanted it because I wanted to underline all the things that I highlighted on my Kindle and then I needed to buy this because it wasn't on Kindle Unlimited which is unfortunate so now I can read the second one and I'm, I'm so excited I also went to we also went to Brandy and she needed a couple things but I liked these pants so I got them we got the same ones and she literally texted me that they're really tight so I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping them or not. I really liked how long they were and flared, but I'll try them on and see if I like them or not. Yeah, I was bad at filming today. I will do better, but tonight, well, right now I wanna take a nap and then tonight I wanna start my 24 hour reading challenge, which I think by the time I upload this vlog, that video is already going to be up if I actually do. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do it, and even if I fail, I'm probably still gonna upload it, so go watch that.
I'm not really doing well, so we can ignore that I look like this. But anyway, Target selling books is so dangerous because I just count it as groceries and it just comes out of my groceries budget. That's not a good thing. <laughs> but they also always have good deals and so I can't help myself. I got The Good Part by Sophie Cousins. I've heard really good things about this. I kind of feel like it's gonna make me feel like the second year slut. It's also really short. And then I also just got a Court of Mist and Fury. This is the second book. And I should get through this series eventually. I feel like if I don't have it, I'm not gonna think about it. So I got it so I can finish it. You guys would not believe what finally came. The packaging from Blackwells is always so bad because this like literally just opened. <laughs> This smells like cigarettes. <laughs> oh my god. It's huge! I have no idea what that means. Usually the things on the back mean something. I'm not even going to read the back, I'm just going to read it and I'll figure out what it means after. This is also very, a little, not very, but a little bit damaged. It's also damaged a little bit up here, but I literally don't care. I finally have it. I also kind of don't love this cover at all. I love how they were going with like the no people thing on all the covers and now suddenly there's a person, <laughs> but it's fine. It's. To me, it's still better than the feet on the covers because those are very questionable to me. I can't believe how huge it is because like, this is way taller than an average. I feel like this is the height of an average book and it's like way taller and it's so much thicker. I'm not ready. But yeah, as I was saying, the other two covers with no people on them I feel like this one's very random, but it's finally complete. I honestly have no idea when I'm going to read this though, because even though I was excited for it, I feel like I'm reading a bunch of other things. And I'm currently I'm reading Ruthless Vows, and after that, I kind of want to read a little life, just in the mood for other things. So I don't know when I'll read this, but I'm still excited to have it either way. I'm literally gonna go on the train in my pajamas, well with my coat on and my Uggs on because I'm going to a Galentine's and the theme is like a pajama party type of thing, so I, can, I don't know if you could tell but there are little hearts on my pajamas, it's so cute. I literally don't know what this vlog is going to be because I meant to vlog my entire week but then I just didn't feel good, I felt like shit all week and I don't know, I don't know what kind of clips that I have but I'm still going to just Put them together and even if it's just a two minute video that i'm gonna upload it anyway i got back my mug from color me mine yesterday and this is how it came out i wish the colors were way darker they told me that it was i think i just needed more coats it's my fault it's fine it's not their fault it's mine but now that i know i feel like next time i will just go and do like a bunch of coats but there's the bow and there's this eight ball seven ball it's not the worst thing in the world it's made with love and I had matcha out of it this morning and the matcha did hit different so it's fine. I really want to do this again though because I feel like I can do better. I actually leaving quite early because we're doing a gift exchange at the Galentine's and I have to go pick up something. I don't know what I'm gonna get but I think I'm gonna either go to Ulta or Sephora and then there's like a Target right next to it so I'll get a gift bag too and we're gonna do like a blind- it's kind of like white elephant but for Valentine's Day. So I still think I'll do that and also pick up something to eat because it's a potluck. I am unprepared because I just, I've been hating life recently, I can't lie, so. But it's gonna be fun. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings. 
Valentine's was fun and very cute. I feel like I just gave my sister a recap and now I don't know what else to say because I could say it all over again, but I, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was cute. The food was great. There were a bunch of bottles of like pink drinks and they were like either rosé or some of them was just juice. There were just a bunch of pink drinks on the table, but one of them was tequila and I've never seen pink tequila before. And so I accidentally drank some tequila. <laughs> it was fine though, honestly, tequila's not, tequila's probably the only thing that doesn't get me hungover. And I also realized what it was, obviously. It was pretty good. Megan gave me these books because she got a bunch of free books from someone in her apartment. And this is the last in the Actator series, so now I have to get through it so that I can get here. It's gonna be weird because I'm, I have the others in paperback and then I just randomly have this one in hardcover. And then I also got The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I've never read anything by Riley Sager, but I've heard good things about this one specifically. So when I'm in the mood for a thriller, which I feel like I like to read thrillers randomly. Anyway, I genuinely don't know what this video will be because <laughs> I started off filming and then I stopped, but I'm just gonna upload whatever clips I have anyway, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and I will see you soon. Bye! It's snowing really bad outside and someone drew a heart <laughs> and a peace sign in the snow. But it's also kind of insane that this is here because I literally looked outside at around like 3 a.m. and there was nothing here and now it's like 4 a.m. and this was here, so someone did this somewhere between 3 and 4 a.m. Kind of crazy.